And we now know the name of the man who was killed Friday night in a natural gas explosion. The medical examiner identifies him as 36-year-old Joe Robert Reyes. The explosion happened around 6.30 Friday night at Calpine Company Generation Plant. That company is located on Buddy Lawrence Drive. There's no word yet on what caused that explosion. And health officials are urging Americans to donate blood as the nation right now just faces a severe shortage. The American Association of Blood Banks says blood supply is, quote, dangerously low at centers nationwide. And that includes the Coastal Bend Blood Center right here in Corpus Christi. What they're looking for is O positive blood donations. If you'd like to help out, call the blood center at 361-855-4943. The Nueces County Jail is once again overcrowded. The jail is at 99% capacity, and once again, the sheriff, Sheriff J.C. Hooper, says it's because of a backlog in court cases. Back in May, the jail was at 98% capacity, and Sheriff Hooper told us back then that the inmate cases are being delayed because people are just not showing up for jury duty. The sheriff blames fears of the pandemic for those jury who don't show. A heads up to travelers tonight, the U.S. has extended travel restrictions for the northern and southern border for at least another month. Back in March of 2020, non-essential travel was banned at the U.S. land borders with Canada and Mexico because of the COVID-19 pandemic. That ban was set to expire today, but the Department of Homeland Security announced a 30-day extension, meaning that these restrictions do remain in place until July 21st. And still ahead on your news at 5 not enough material out there to, to supply everyone. Yep, you heard that right. As the country slowly gets back to normal, we're still going to be seeing several shortages this summer. We'll explain why coming up next. So while the country is slowly getting back to normal, many of the shortages that began last summer have let up. And in some cases, they're actually getting worse. Consumer reporter John Matteries looks into why almost everything seems to be short in supply so that you don't waste your money. Everywhere you turn this year, it seems something is in short supply. And families hoping for a backyard swimming pool are the latest to learn of shortages. We're begging the manufacturer. Chris Switzer's job these days is often telling customers they're going to have to wait. And I understand their disappointment, uh, but please understand that, that we're doing everything within our power. Chris is the manager of a swimming pool store. While he still has above ground pool kits in stock, if you just need to replace your pool liner, that's another story. There is a, a definite shortage of pool liners and it affects, it's affecting the entire industry. The pool liner shortage is like so many other shortages right now. A combination of surging demand during the pandemic and factories that were shut down for at least a couple of months last year. CNN says the same issues are affecting supplies of chlorine tablets for pools, computer chips and pickup trucks as a result, drywall for home building, and precious metals to make catalytic converters. Making it all worse, a labor and truck driver shortage, according to Kerry Byrne of Total Quality Logistics, the second largest freight brokerage in the U.S. What we're seeing is a disruption in the supply chain that happens sometimes, but now because of the labor shortage, it's just been exacerbated. So whether you need a sheet of drywall or a swimming pool liner, there's not enough material out there to, to supply everyone. Pool sellers hope that by this winter, the liner and chlorine shortage ease. So always don't waste your money. I'm John Mattery's Chris 6 News. All right, and today is a big day for Amazon Prime members. The online retail giant is kicking off its annual shopping holiday today. The company is promising deep discounts on 2 million products for Prime Day. But this year, experts say to be really cautious when you're reading some reviews for the products that you're interested in buying this year. Don't necessarily just rely on the reviews that you see on Amazon's site. Uh, a lot of times they're, they're questionable whether or not you can actually buy them or buy those reviews. Amazon has rules against any manipulation of ratings, but fake product reviews have plagued the company for years. And the problem is actually getting worse as the online marketplace grows with millions of third party merchants. So this prime day, it wouldn't really hurt to research brands and scan competitors prices before you hit the buy button. Coming up, we're going to introduce you to a local bowling league that's sure to make you smile. And it's another hot one here out on the coastal bend. We're in the bayfront. We're bringing you live weather to bring you up to date on what this heat means and the warnings that are in effect right after the break.
This is Chris 6 News at 5. Hey, good evening. It's been a really hot day here across the coastal bend. I'm sure if you've had to go outside for something, you've known a way to start the Monday for these folks out here finding a way to beat the heat. These kids are having a blast in this splash pad. It is just one of the great ways that you can try to get past this heat that we've seen. So let's get into it. We have some weather alerts to tell you about excessive heat warning and heat advisories. That's what's pretty much affecting all of our area. What you see in that uh, brighter shade of pink, that's an excessive heat warning. That's a about a step more serious than a heat advisory. We'll talk about that in a moment, but I want to show you what those feels like temperatures are here across the bend that are causing these war warnings or advisories to be in place because yeah, it it's getting better. It's feeling a lot better at this point, but it has been very hot here today. So much so that, uh, you know, you got to take care of yourself when it's hot like this. Feels like 107 right now in Corpus Christi, 104 in Port A in Rockport, 108 in George West. It